Well, uh, I've already talked uh, about the Africa's uh, high-level panel on emerging uh, technologies uh, policy framework uh, yesterday. Uh, I'll be focusing on uh, prospects for harmonized approach for regulating uh, genome editing in uh, animal uh, agriculture in Africa, especially taking lessons uh, uh, from efforts to harmonize uh, biosafety regulatory systems uh, for uh, crop biotech over the last uh, 13 to 14 years. Well, uh, we have something like 54 countries uh, in uh, Africa, about half of which don't yet have uh, biosafety laws. So that's the environment that uh, we will be uh, talking about to harmonize uh, uh, regulatory systems for genome edited uh, animals. Following in the footsteps of the APETS uh, policy uh, framework for genome editing, uh, something like four countries, namely Nigeria, Kenya, Malawi, and Ghana have already uh, published guidelines that match the APETS uh, policy uh, framework, uh, which is uh, quite uh, positive. Well, what does the policy framework uh, contain? Uh, well, it advises AU member states uh, to develop guidelines uh, rather than uh, modify uh, the existing uh, regulatory tools uh, such as uh, laws and implementing uh, regulations. The framework uh, provides uh, uh, or uh, stresses the importance of pre-submission consultation uh, uh, to determine a uh, regulatory status of the genome edited uh, product. Well, uh, when uh, the genome edited product is determined to be a GMO, uh, then uh, uh, countries uh, need to opt uh, uh, to tap into the existing uh, laws uh, uh, to proceed with uh, risk uh, assessment and uh, decision making. It's essentially a product-based uh, regulatory approach uh, in which a genome editing product is subject to existing uh, risk assessment and decision uh, making process only when it contains uh, foreign DNA in the final uh, product. Uh, as I've already said, uh, the four countries with published guidelines, Nigeria, Ghana, Kenya, and uh, Malawi, have uh, produced guidelines that align uh, well uh, with the APETS uh, policy framework. Uh, Ethiopia has as well produced a final uh, guideline, uh, which is uh, waiting for approval and uh, uh, publication. So the guidelines in all these countries uh, um, provides for regulating uh, genome editing when only the final product contains a transgene. Well, South Africa is an exception uh, where uh, the uh, uh, regulation is uh, for uh, a process uh, based, uh, in which case a new uh, plant breeding techniques uh, go through procedures uh, for uh, GMOs with existing uh, risk uh, assessment and uh, decision uh, making. Uh, 
Well, when we come to harmonize regulations, obviously the advantages are uh, it avoids fragmentation, improves aggregation of markets, and uh, 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 at the end of the day, it would facilitate uh, trade. But then for technology adopters, uh, there is a potential this advantage of enhancing uh, tech access and also possibly uh, lowering uh, technology fee. It is a unnecessary burden both on the industry and the regulatory uh, agencies. But the thing is effective harmonization is more than concordance uh, in the guidelines. It should, among other things, include transportability of data and decisions. It's only then that we say we have harmonized regulatory systems for uh, genome uh, editing uh, technologies, uh, uh, whether that be in animals or crops. Well, what are the bio, uh, biosafety regulatory systems uh, harmonizations uh, failure uh, factors? What are the factors that would contribute to the failure of harmonization efforts? As some of uh, you may already know, uh, harmonization attempts, uh, harmonization uh, of biosafety regulatory systems uh, were attempted in COMESA common market for Eastern and Southern Africa and ECOWAS, uh, Economic Community of West African States. Well, those attempts are uh, yet to produce uh, substantive things on the ground. My perception is that it has not yielded a positive result so far uh, because uh, it's uh, a top-down approach uh, from uh, the get-go. Uh, uh, people uh, try to harmonize things at the regional level uh, and uh, uh, devolve that uh, harmonized uh, uh, document uh, to uh, national uh, stakeholders or uh, regulators at the national level. From this, uh, it's uh, reasonable to assume that there is an interest in making regional regulatory milieu uh, right uh, to create conducive environment uh, for trade, which means uh, there would not be a strong national technology success cases to show off uh, to attract uh, others uh, uh, to come into the uh, uh, harmonized uh, regulatory systems fold. Sorry. <laughs> so uh, politicians would not have uh, incentive uh, to endorse harmonization of the biosafety regulatory systems. What are their concerns? One, they think that there would be concession without leveraging benefits. For example, will technology fee be lower because of harmonization of regulations and aggregation of markets? Or will uh, access to technology be improved because of harmonization? The second point uh, I would say is that uh, there is a fear of being trapped in value extraction without commensurate value creation uh, for uh, end uh, users. Well, uh, just I wanted to bring to your attention uh, 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 
uh, on uh, what has transpired uh, when uh, some of AU member states uh, tried to adopt uh, GM technology in the respective uh, jurisdictions. The technology was initially uh, 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 developed uh, in the USA. Uh, it was tested in Africa, but then when it was found effective, uh, the technology was licensed to Indian companies where seeds were uh, produced from where uh, those African countries that have uh, interest in adopting the technology were uh, supposed to uh, import uh, and uh, start planting. The problem is that this uh, didn't uh, ensure access to the technology the way uh, stakeholders in Africa expected it to, to happen. So in a way, uh, in one way or uh, another, uh, that would uh, affect uh, people's uh, drive to move into uh, harmonized regulatory systems in the next uh, regional economic communities like uh, COMESA, ECOWAS, SADC, uh, and uh, what have you. We have something like uh, eight uh, regional economic communities uh, in Africa. Well, uh, this slide is uh, a, uh, a, a proposal of a feasible approach, or you may say a wish list uh, based on my perception. Probably uh, it would help uh, as people move forward to select a few countries whose success uh, could resonate across regional economy communities and the continent. Uh, for example, one might pick Nigeria, Ethiopia, Kenya, Ghana, and Malawi, and uh, pilot uh, a, a successful program which would be scaled up uh, to harmonize regulatory systems in the regs. Work to harmonize regulations, which requires uh, uh, investment uh, for success. Maybe uh, technology providers uh, would opt for uh, deploying impactful technologies uh, in favorable uh, terms in those uh, pilot uh, countries. After which uh, uh, one would expect uh, that uh, trust uh, both on the technology and uh, between the actors have uh, taken root. From this, uh, it follows that uh, um, one would start thinking of uh, scaling up of uh, the technology or diffusion of the technology uh, while also strategically raising the trade uh, dimension of technology offer and access. Finally, uh, you may go for uh, showcasing the success uh, in the pilot countries to expand the reach of uh, regulatory harmonization and uh, commercialization. In conclusion, uh, there are encouraging signs of adopting AUDA, NEPAT, APETS, uh, African Union Development Agency, new partnership, uh, for uh, uh, new partnership for, Africa, um, for Africa's development, uh, African high-level panel for emerging technologies genome editing policy framework. As I tried to say earlier, uh, functional harmonization is more than concordance on paper. It should include uh, transportability of data and decisions. Finally, functional harmonized regulatory system for genome edited products in Africa requires holistic planning by all stakeholders and trust building for a win-win outcome for both technology suppliers and end users. Uh, that's all I have, thank you very much.